Solid hand, solid hand. Start off with a Knoll Hunter and then play a Shepherd. Followed by Knoll Hunter Battlecry Goblin. And maybe Jaded Cell Sword. Although, then if I play Knoll Hunter, I can swing and then both of them would get. Um, to 3-3. Three, three. I'm pretty sure that I play a turn wrong here, if I remember correctly, where I could swing with the Null Hunter or I could not, and I choose to swing and it turns out it wasn't that great. Yeah, that's a good card, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary to play that. Just play the Shepherd. Shepard's fine, it blocks the 2-1. Three mana, uses it efficiently. I think I was getting stuck up on the, um, the six power stuff, so. Hmm. Gotta draw a mountain here. I think it's this flying over my head, oh no. Not me. It's not a mountain, but it does allow us to play one of the two. I think Cell Sword's fine. Yep. And then pass. No, that's not the play. Uh, yeah, I guess you could play Noel Hunter and uh, Thing. See, I don't like this play though. Just play the four. Because now he's not going to attack with the priest. And then what are you going to do? Attack with the Fang Gull? Or Fang Null? That's awkward. And they have a 3-3. Three, three. So this was the turn that I could choose not to attack with the 3-3. Three, three. I think that's wrong. So he's just going to play... Wow, look at all those triggers. 20? What? Gaining 5 life. So he could double block here, but that doesn't make sense. I would happily trade Planner, Ally, and Priest of Ancient Lore for that. So I'm spending 4 mana to kill a 2-1. That's why I really just don't like that attack. You know what I mean? Still, he's at 10, so <laughs> we're at 20 now. It's not like he can attack with the planner ally, really. Like, imagine I... Imagine I keep that back. He has a Priest of Ancient Lore back. And I play a Cell Sword. I don't know. Tell me what you would do in this situation. Venture away. So I think venturing is really underwhelming, first of all. Second of all, it is, you know, you can't do that because then you, what do you do? Swing with the 2-1 or the 2-2? Two, two? You can't pump it. It's very, um, what's the word? It's bait. That's what it is. You think, oh, adventuring, it's going to be amazing. But in the end, it's just, you do all this work and then you draw a card. Or you scry. Yay. I mean, that's good, but wouldn't it be better to, you know, swing with everything? Swing with a bunch of creatures? So here we're going to have to trade the Null away, which, I mean, look at his life totals. Not that bad. <laughs> So yeah, watching it, I don't know if I would have made the same play. 
as I made there, but I think it was the right play. So good job past me. In the moment I get really aggressive, <laughs> I think I'm more conservative watching. So you play the veteran here. Yeah, don't give me information yet. We're not playing forest, we're playing mono red. For all they know, we're playing mono red. All right, he spends his turn leveling up. Fine by me. Get in there. See, we didn't have to play the forest. Could have kept that information a secret. Misplay. <laughs> so I think the play is play Goblin Morningstar, miss, and then play um, equip it onto <laughs> the veteran. Yes, play, play mount. What if they mistap again? Oh my gosh. That was so frustrating when that happened. That was a previous um, video though, in the last seven wins playlist. It tapped, auto tapped, so really weird in a way that I would not have tapped. An 04 defender. We can double block in order to kill a thing. No good. Now I'm gonna have to. Wow. What does that do? Oh. Okay. Each player loses one life. Oh no. Not worried about that at all. So yeah, um. I like that, yeah, but I like improvised weaponry as well. I don't like this attack. I would rather improvise weaponry and then play Battlecry Goblin, because... Okay, and now he... Yeah, okay. out way better than I expected because he could have double blocked or oh it's it's got menace so he has to block both and take three but then the armory veteran is gone place a two five that can block my four three yeah, I mean, obviously he doesn't know that I have Goblin in my hand, and it doesn't matter, so... Yeah, activate. Nice. Indeed nice. And then swing. Uh, probably that, yep. Because that's getting for four, for sure. Wait for triggers and activate again. Scoop him up! Now you put the death touch on that. It doesn't have trample, so you put the 2-2 two -two on that. You put the 2-5 on the 4-2. Where are these blocks? I mean, it didn't matter, but... What are those blocks? They're terrible blocks. Gold tier 1. Is that good? I don't know. Really don't. So, 2 0. A decent enough hand to keep. It's got a turn one play. I mean, honestly, you could mulligan it. I got lucky. Drew a turn two. 
I felt like we were on the draw and I had boots of speed to get anything out that you know was played but the problem with boots of speed is everything costs the same amount of mana yeah that robber <laughs> makes the boots of speed awkward so now you Valor Singer here. Yep, swing for two. But now you can Hobgoblin Captain, Boots of Speed. And he's swinging with first strike? Oh my goodness. Well, not so much anymore, but he did attack. What a fool. Uh, well you're not swinging with enough for that to matter so yeah boots of speed the three one and if you draw a land it's just super good no it's not that mm -mm, don't do it he's gonna do it isn't he he's gonna do it don't do it it's that get him for four i guess it is first strike yeah They even remember that. Yeah, I know. Sad, sad. But it was worth five damage to not play that. Why are you ending turn? You gonna change the boots of speed to the death touch? Okay. I guess that makes sense because the three one will have first strike. He's likely to block with the one three. Doesn't really matter. And I felt like that was gonna die. Yeah. Okay. And now I remember. I felt like, well, there's no way the three one's gonna survive when he untaps. So I might as well move it to the two two. And I was correct. Just in case I draw a land and I wanna play Frog Hemoth. Good play. Did not draw a land. Hmm. Yeah, that's not enough. That's three, four, five. Yep. So Cell Sword pass after attacking for two. Really? I mean, I guess it gets in more damage after all. Hmm. Puts him to seven. Uh, I don't move it because then you can double his attack and block um, power and toughness. But I mean, we're likely playing something. Need five mana though, or it's gonna die as well. So might as well not. Why do you keep swinging with that? Ooh, you created so much treasure. Good for you, but now you're dying. All right. Cell sword pass here. No swing even. I mean, you could. You could swing for three and then play Cell Sword. You'll block. But man, I have been wanting one land for forever. No attacks. Nice. So now, if I don't draw a land, the Null Hunter will be big enough to become a 3-3. Three, three. Get another card that does not matter. Oh, Meteor Storm would be good. <laughs> Oops. Another 5 drop. Well. Null Hunter pass? Because, like, he just blocks the 4-3 with the 2-2. Two, two. Blocks the 2 1 with the 2 2. Blocks here. Double blocks Arcane Intellect and Horde Robber. And then. 
takes three. That's the four. Hmm. It's not good. I just want to swing with that and then trade the death touch for it. That doesn't seem good. What is this attack? Yeah, I don't like this at all. Because now your Null Hunter can't grow. I'd rather have a 4 3 attacking. Yeah, that was definitely a misplay. Which is good. I watch these. Because in the moment, again, it's very, very difficult to play correctly. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Again, not dry land, but... I think what you do is you play it and equip it and pass. Because imagine if I had the 3-2 now. The same board, the Basilisk and Null Hunter's on, right? He could be attacking for four at this point. The Null Hunter. He's going to block with the 2-1. What is this attack? I don't like that attack either. Just wait a turn. You're, you're bound to draw a land. Uh, take three. That's a bold attack. I mean, you have to attack eventually, but... Ooh, you're drawing a card. I see. Now you have a 4-4. Four, four. Magic Missile is very good. I agree. Oh, but guess what? We're missing a mountain. So we have three unplayable cards in our hand. Yeah, life is good. No. I mean, you could. But not anymore. <laughs> I mean, it would be four. It would be big enough. And when you attack, it gets to be bigger still, so... I mean, go for it, yeah. All attacks. Five, three. So he has to double block. He has to block. Yep. And then you pass. Alright. I'm okay with this. I wipe his board. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Come on. Just in case. Let me trade boards. I'm just waiting for one mana. You know? Just a mountain. Now I'm at 11. Ugh. If I don't draw the mountain, it's gonna be gross. Hey, mountain. I just play this and win the game. Ooh, he has counter spell. No way you play three cards in hand, six mana. No way you're not playing counter spell with a flash creature. So I definitely played around that <laughs> correctly. Yeah. I felt that counter spell in my bones. And I felt it again right there. <laughs> I was like, well, hold on. I gotta read. <laughs> and I read correctly. Now you play your frog hemoth. He's completely tapped out. He's going to take five. You're going to gain five life. No problem. It's got haste trample. It's good. Just click on creatures. That's all you got to do. One, two. Yep. Click it. Click the creature. Does not matter. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything. Creatures. Not that. No, no. 
Just creatures. I think I screwed that up. Yeah, I, I missed one. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna matter, because either he has a removal for it, or he doesn't. And loses. Go to five. He draws a card. Man. Playing around that counter spell was so critical. That's just what years of magic playing does for you. You get a read on counter spell. 3-0. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going 7 wins. 